Hallelujah. Minister Williams hit the stage and she opened us up with glory, glory. Hallelujah. And then in her prayer, I believe, before she, well, her scripture reading, well, was Psalm 34 and 19. Well, guess what? Oh, man. Oh, 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 you couldn't get no better than that. And that was confirmation that we are on the right track. Amen. Psalm 34, verses 18 and 19. And you will find the words recorded. The Lord is nigh to them that are of a broken heart and say it such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. You may be seated. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and say it such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord, somebody said, but the Lord, delivered him out of them all. Won't you? Turn to your neighbor and just say, neighbor, neighbor. Tell, the Lord, tell the Lord, make it better. Make it better. Please, Please make it better. Make it better. Amen. 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 My brothers and, and sisters, when you least expect it, see, it comes out of nowhere. That phone call, that that email, that that letter, that conversation—it comes out of nowhere. Life, my brothers and sisters, is filled, amen, with difficulties and disappointments. We walk through times that shake us to our very core and deal with pains that seems or look. They are unbearable. Perhaps even right now, storm is on the horizon. Maybe you are about to lose your home or your health is declining. Y'all talk with me. Maybe you've lost a loved one and are trying to pick up the shattered pieces of your life. But brothers and sisters, we all must deal with pain and struggles in in this life, if, if, you, if, 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 if you are heartbroken right now, if your spirit is crushed, know that God promises us that he will be ever close to us during these painful times. I, I, I've known some dark times in my own life, times of deep disappointment and sorrow. I'm, I'm going through some rough times right now. And, and sometimes it even felt like God had abandoned me. I wish I had some help in there. Have you ever been there when it just seemed like God has left you where you are to deal with all of the disappointments, all of the difficulties, all of the trials, all of the tribulations in your life, all by yourself? 
my heart I, I cried out to God in prayer and I felt like he wasn't even listening to me. I wish I had some help up in there. I prayed, God, please lay it down. Only to watch things get worse. Yeah, those experiences, amen, are a part of life. Amen. Jesus said in John 16 and 33, these things have I spoken unto you that in me you might have peace, but in the world you shall have Was 
Uh, and 17, 17, Joseph, a man dreamed he would uh, be a, a ruler. Then he was sold into slavery by his own brothers. He was swastled in prison for years in, in Egypt. All these bad things happened before Pharaoh got and Joseph to be sold into man of all Egypt. Things got worse before they got better in Joseph's life. God called Moses to help his people in Egypt who were forced to make brick out of straw. Once Moses arrived on the scene, Pharaoh forced the slaves to make the same number of bricks without straw. Things got worse long before they got better. And if you think Jones Amen. Uh, uh, you, you, you will see how things went from bad to worse. Yes, messenger after messenger to reveal to him that he, he had lost his average, his, his personal possession, his children. Job was afflicted with sword all over his body. Set out in the ass heap for many days in isolation. To make matters worse, he was drawn by three friends who questioned him and, and instigated, amen, that Job had done something wrong to deserve the hand, amen, he had been dead. Finally, God turns Job's circumstances around, amen, and, 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 and what had been bad was good once again. Got to learn, got to learn, my brothers and sisters, to wait on the Lord. Isaiah said, hey, that wait on the Lord shall renew their strength and shall mount up wings like he was wrong, like he really walked. And not fit. You got to hold up. Yeah, James, James tells us, amen. Amen. And James 1, amen. He said, Consider it sheer gift. In other words, he was saying, Come on, John. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, Consider it a sheer gift. Friends, when tests and challenges come and answers the wrong side. You, you, you know that under pressure, your faith life yes, is forced into an open and, 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 and show its true colors. Yes, so don't try to get out of anything premature. Yes, no, 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 that's what we want. We want to get out of stuff prematurely, amen, before God can do what God is trying to do yes, in our lives. He said, let it's work so you can become mature and well developed, not efficient in your way. Yes. Let, me, let, me, let me try to work my way out of here now. I told you I wasn't going to hold you long. In our text, the Bible says in verse 18, the Lord is not unto them that are of a broken heart and say it such as be of a contrite spirit. The New Living Translation puts it like this. The Lord is close to the broken heart. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. Y'all, 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 y'all not hearing it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is it that, that David the saying here, Pastor? In other words, he said that the Lord is close. I don't care what you're going through. This room. No, no. Lord 
in Psalms, amen, 40, 46 and 1, amen, he, he said, God is our refuge and strength of their pride help in trouble. In other words, what the servants were saying, amen, is that the Lord, somebody said, come it's coach. Yeah, 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 he's coach. Yeah, yeah, so he said, so 139 and 7, he said, why can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? This may be bad news for those who want to escape the rocks of our God and his judgment, but for those who love a great source yeah. of comfort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah because you can't get out. Can't get out of God's yeah. presence because he's everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At, the, at the same time. That's what I, that's what I love about it. What I'm going through, yeah. and I'm going to stop living and you're going through and you're in common here. Yeah. The same God that is with me in South Memphis in confidence. Somebody don't, don't talk with me this morning. But all we got to do is ask him to tell him, Lord, make it better. I believe, I believe that he'll, he'll, he'll make it better. And he said that the Lord is close. But not only is the Lord close, who is he close to? Thank you. 
could be. Somebody said, Lord, please make it better. David, my brothers and sisters, knew that God wouldn't leave him where he found him. Y'all don't hear me. Amen. I said, David knew that God would not leave him where have you ever had some experiences with God? Has God ever brought you out some stuff? Has God ever healed